happy. I have to sit back a little bit because of your face will look big, you know. Now, okay, like this. You have to sit the closer, a little closer to me and knit in front because I don't want the your face look too small. Yeah, okay, <laughs> good. Okay. Now I'm with uh, Miss Mercedes and we have been here for about one month. Mm -hmm. House hunting. Yes. House hunting, okay. So after one month, we look back and I think we have already got some experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and still, there are a lot of things who are still in dark, we don't know. Mm. So, we would like to share this video, uh, our experience to the people, because buying a house, I cannot see everybody's, but most people stream. Yes. Buying a house is always someone want to do at least once in a lifetime. So this is something very common. So we share our experience at the same time with the love you are advice, your experience share with us too. So Mercedes, what is the very first thing we should do when you're looking for a house? Well, first you obvious the obvious thing is decide where, but you should find a good agent that understand you and you understand them okay so agents has two kinds sellers agent represent the seller and we are the buyers we need to have our agent we call the buyers agent to work for us on our side of on our interest so is it easy to find an agent here in the u.s sure it's actually really easy they're everywhere yes but uh, it's a little more difficult to find one that you can communicate with well and that you have uh, the understanding for what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So that is difficult. So originally, uh, Mercedes thought she wanted to go to Miami. Why did not you go? Miami? Well, okay. Actually for several months uh, I was planning on Miami so I had been in contact with a lot of agents there and um, they all you know seemed really energetic and and ready to go but the first question that they always asked me I would ask them questions I would it was through email through chat whatever and I would have questions because I don't know the area only from what I can find out online and they would never answer my questions. They would just say, when do you want to see a house? Oh, just let me know when you want to see a house. Oh, when are you going to be in town that you can go and see a house? Nobody would answer my questions about areas, about uh, uh, recommendations. Of course, I know everyone has their own opinion, but as a real estate agent, you should be able to listen to my wants and needs and then say, oh, this part of the city. I mean, if you don't know your city, then how can you effectively help people? Basically, all I was finding was agents that say, you tell me what house you want to see, and I'll take you and open the door. That was basically it. That's how they wanted to earn their commission was to open a door for me. After I found the property, I did the research, and then they collect a commission. Uh, there are two things I would mention. The first thing is, yeah, of course, they don't know your taste. And uh, they assume that you will find a place and they do the service for you. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I think it's not only real estate. It's the whole service sense here in the U.S. I remember I started at uh, uh, USC, University of Southern California, also Auburn College at Ohio University, also New Hampshire University. And you hardly can get any service from anyone. Of course, that's university. Everything is all online, online. You go there to have uh, register the first day, there's no people there. It's just an envelope. You open the envelope, they give you all the information, your room number, your room key, and uh, then you go in, this is uh, a Wi-Fi password, and you open the Wi-Fi, and they say, uh, your, your course is on this link, and you are uh, anything, everything is online. Mm -hmm. 
So it's very difficult to get a service, especially when I was trying to take the train from New Hampshire to Boston. Even the train station, there's no people. No people to send ticket. Well. <laughs> you have to order ticket online. <laughs> and when I was on the train, the conductor came to check my ticket. I said, I had no ticket because no one sells ticket. Then he said, you have to buy it online. I said, I don't have it online. Then he said, I can help you buy online. <laughs> Not from him. Okay, maybe it's the money system, whatever. And when I checked in at a hotel in Boston, they said, you have to check in online. <laughs> and I said, you are here. Can I just check with you? No, you cannot. You have to go online. Yeah. And they don't have online in the reception. They want me to go to Starbucks Coffee to yeah. get, get a Wi-Fi. To, okay, anyway. So this is yeah. something about the maternity. So the result is Mercedes did not get hold of anyone who is concrete enough, who is, we think, reliable enough in Miami. Yeah. Who, who gave me the confidence to actually take the leap. And the right all the way to Miami. Yes. Well, so it's not, it wasn't just about <clears throat> coming from Asia to the United States, which is already a really long flight. But then I would have to go to the other side of the United States to be in Miami. Yes. So anyway, we are here in Las Vegas. We are so lucky. <laughs> And uh, Mercedes has contacted quite a few agents. There are two agents actively, uh, sufficiently, answer us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so there was one agent, actually. Uh, we've, we, I've got one that I'm working with regularly. Uh, there was another that I met with, and she was she's really great. She's really great, okay? I was watching videos. We were watching videos before we came to Las Vegas, and there was a young couple who bought a house, dream and house. their absolute dream house. You know, they're like in their mid to late 20s, uh, no kids yet, and all that stuff. And I think this was from about four years ago. And so I contacted them because they talked about how patient their agent was, and she was in the background of a few of their videos, not her face, but her voice. And um, they just loved her so much. So I said, okay, uh, let me contact them, contacted them, and they gladly gave me her information. So I got in contact with her, Megan, and uh, she met with us, and she listened, and uh, she set me up on the portal and everything and started sending me properties. Um, and I, I really would highly recommend her for people looking for their absolute dream home. Yes, uh, because Megan, uh, Miss Megan, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, she is the, the one actually answered uh, her letters and actually came to see us in person yeah. and give us, give us information about the city, the ideas, the expertise, the knowledge she has. Yes. Yes. And uh, the other one is uh, Eddie. You have seen the video previous okay so there will be more Eddie coming so we don't need to talk more about him yeah. but in this video I only show you how Miss Mercedes meet Megan oh I should say Miss Megan came to see yes us. yes that's how yes. it went okay Hope all right you enjoy it and um, that's it I think that's it for today. That's for today. Yeah. Okay. So we will continue in this uh, series. We talk about uh, uh, more aspects of looking for a house, uh, getting get to know the city, get to, how to get the uh, information mm. of the houses, mm. and how to locate yourself, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, et cetera, and how to fight with the price and this and that. How the dramatic. This is Las Vegas. Yeah. The dramatic, the price is going up and down. You know, it's like well, it's, it's yeah. really like a it's really like a game. You know. <laughs> I know. Well, and and in addition, uh, what we have we're talking about before, um, it's like really, for me coming back, people automatically look at me and say, "Oh, they assume that I know everything." Everything, but I have to tell them and try to impress upon them that I have been away for ten years, and that's a long 
time. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not 80 years old. So 10 years is a really long time for me to have been away from my homeland. Mm -hmm. And I've never lived in Vegas, although I've been here. I've yeah. never lived here before. So people <laughs> just assume that she knows everything. Mm. Actually, she's technically kind of foreigner. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even know the new phone companies and things like that. I'm serious. I have no clue about these basic things that. So you know. sometimes people even ask, her, "Oh, your English is very good. Where are you from?" <laughs> <laughs> then she had to say, "Oh, I'm from Malaysia." Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you look very much Malaysian. Yeah. <laughs> okay, absolutely. They've never seen a Malaysian before. <laughs> okay, that's all for this today's video. And we will continue uh, talk about this uh, house hunting continuously. <laughs> yes, yes. Good.